welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome, welcome. My name is Lizelle and today's video is of course going to be a tutorial on this look right here. It's actually really easy to do you guys. I only used two eyeshadows for this look. So pretty much if you can blend eyeshadows and apply a winged liner, you're good to go. I don't know what it is, but I was just craving to do like a matte bright yellow eyeshadow look and this is this is pretty much what I came up with. Before I get into the tutorial, I just have to warn you guys that I think, like I think the audio is gonna be off for at least half of this video because my dumbass wasn't recording and I really don't wanna have to sit down and record this look all over again because I'm happy with how it turned out. It's just that the audio is gonna be a little bit off. So I do apologize for that, but there's nothing I can do to fix it at this point. So I hope you guys don't mind, but if you do enjoy this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And if you're new, you know what to do. Join the crew by hitting the little red subscribe button down below. Okay guys, so to save a little bit of time, I have already prepped and primed my skin. So to start things off today, I'm going in with foundation. Today I'm using the Maybelline Superstay 24 hour full coverage foundation. This one in particular is in the shade number 34, soft bronze. And as you can see, I'm just doing that onto my face and then blending it into the skin with a dampened Miracle Complexion Sponge by Real Techniques. Next up, I'm gonna do some color correcting. So I'm going in with the Becca Under Eye Brightening Corrector. If you have dark under eye circles like I do, then you may want to consider doing this, although it definitely isn't necessary. I just feel like it really helps to brighten up the under eye area, especially when you're doing a full glam makeup look. It really helps to pull everything together. As you can see, I'm just applying that underneath my eye eyes and I'm blending it in with a Models Prefer airbrush concealer brush. Next up of course is concealer. Today I'm going to be using the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. This one is in the shade Light Medium Honey and I'm going to go ahead and apply that in all the usual areas that I like to conceal and highlight. So I'm just applying this underneath my eyes, down the bridge of my nose, above my brows and also on my chin and then I'm going to go ahead and blend it out with the dampened sponge once again. I've said it before and I will say it again, this concealer is very heavy duty, full coverage, a little goes a long way. So don't get too crazy with it because I'm telling you, less is definitely more. Next up, I am of course going to set that concealer in place. So I'm using the Astralis Ready Set Go Finishing Powder in True Translucent. So I'm just applying that with the Sigma Tapered Highlighter Brush, making sure to pat it as opposed to sweeping it to avoid moving any of the concealer that I've just placed down. As for all the other areas of my face that I haven't yet set, I'm just going to be going in with a little bit of this powder from Wet n Wild. This is their Photo Focus Pressed Powder in Warm Beige. So I'm just taking that on a Sigma F30 Lash Powder Brush and I'm gonna dust that over all the other areas that I have not yet set. Okay guys, now that we are nice and up close and personal, you already know that means I'm gonna get started on the eyes. So typically I would go in with some type of base at this point, but I did use the concealer as my base today, so I feel like that will just suffice. So for this look today, I am going to be using the NYX Fire Palette to start off with. So I'm going to be going in firstly with, where is she? There she is, the matte bright yellow shade. So I'm taking this on the Zoeva 221 Luxe Soft Crease Brush and ever so gently running that through my crease. This is going to act as, I guess, the initial transitional crease shade. So I've got that color in my crease, but I'm also going to run it along my bottom lash line while I'm here. So this brush right here is the Zoeva 231 Luxe Petite Crease Brush. And essentially, I'm just going to take that same shade run it along my bottom lash line and connect it up to what's going on on the outer corner of the eye as well. Damn, that is some intense color. I don't know you guys, I'm totally getting like bumblebee vibes right now because it's so yellow. But I'm gonna be going back into that shade once again. This time I'm taking this brush. Don't mind the um, green tinge to it, it's just a little bit stained, but it is clean. So this is the Zoeva 232 Luxe Classic Shader, and I'm going to be taking that same yellow shade. It's crazy because even though it is the same eyeshadow that I'm using, you can really see the difference that it makes when you pack a shadow onto the lid as opposed to blend it. It almost looks like you're using two different shades when really it's just the same shadow. So now that I've got all that yellow on my lids, I could totally just leave it as it is, but I just wanna add like a little something to it. So, I am going to be going into this shade right here. How would you describe this? It's like a matte coral shade. Coral is a good way to describe it. 
describe it, I think. But I'm just going to be taking that on a Zoeva 228 Luxe Crease Brush. I am only taking the tiniest amount of this shadow, you guys. Like, barely even dipping my brush into it and then tapping off the excess. Because I really only want the smallest bit of this colour on my lids. So I'm just going to go ahead and run this through my crease, starting from the outer corner of the eyes and kind of dragging it inwards. So now I'm looking like I have a little, like, sunset moment going on on my lids. I'm also going to go ahead and take some of that shade just along my bottom lash line right here. I'm using the same Zoeva 231 Luxe Petite Crease Brush that I used earlier. And I'm just ever so slightly running that along the bottom lash line, but only taking it along the outer corner. So that is everything for eyeshadows, pretty simple and straightforward. Next up, I wanna go in with some liquid liner. So today I am using the NYX Matte Liquid Liner. I wanna give myself like a thick, crispy wing for this yellow look. I just feel like that goes really well with the yellow. I also feel like it's been so long since I have done a winged liner. So forgive me if my technique is a little off-putting, but um, yeah, I'm trying. <laughs> so now that those wings are on, as you can see, I'm just giving my lashes a curl and then I am going in with mascara. Today I'm using the Maybelline Lash Sensational Full Fan Effect Mascara. So now for falsies, you guys already know that I'm going to be going in with a pair. So today I am using this set from House of Lashes. These are in the style Siren. Super long and wispy, fluffy, yet they don't take over the eye, which is why I like them. I feel like they're more to enhance the eye. Rather than taking over the entire eye, these are great to just add a little something to the look. So I'm just going to be going in with this. This is the Rimmel Exaggerate Waterproof Eye Definer in number 213 in the nude. It's pretty much just a nude liner, so I'm going to go ahead and run this along my waterline, and this is really going to help define the eye and brighten it up just a little more. So now back onto finishing off the rest of the face, I am going to be going in with the Revlon Sculpt and Highlight Contour Kit, and I'm going to be taking this shade right here. I'm going into that with the Models Prefer Contour Brush, and I'm going to go ahead and contour my cheekbones and my jawline with this. Now with this specific contour powder, I like to go in with padding motions just because it is super, super pigmented. So when I dip my brush into it, I really do tap off the excess. I'm also gonna go ahead and contour my nose with this shadow, but I'm using an eyeshading brush. Now to bronze up my face, I am going in with the Benefit Hula Bronzer. I'm taking that on a Sigma F40 large angled contour brush. So I'm just gonna go ahead and run that over my cheekbones as well as around my hairline and temples. And this is really going to add some life and color back into my face. Now for this look, I am not going to be going in with any type of blush today, but I am going to be taking some of this to my cheeks. This is the Milani Baked Bronzer in number five Soleil. Because it does have that like shimmery gold sheen throughout it, I feel like it's really going to enhance the cheeks and make them glow without adding too much color to the look. Now for the lips, I am going to keep it, you guys already know, like I'm going with the nude. So I'm firstly just going to go ahead and line them with this liner by Rimmel. This is their lasting finish, 1000 kisses, stay on lip contouring pencil in the shade number 49 natural. And then for the actual lip color, I'm going to be taking this one from NYX in the shade Cirque, as you can see, classic typical nude that you guys know I'm into. So to tone that down just a little, I am going in with this. This is the Maybelline Elixir Color Sensational Lip Gloss in Nude Illusion. So there we have you guys. This is the completed look. I want you to comment down below and let me know what you think. As always, I will leave a list of everything that I used throughout the video down below in the description box where you can also find all the links to my social media accounts. So if you guys want to keep up with me on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, or Snapchat, all that good stuff is down below. Before I end off this video, I have to give my comment of the day shout out. So shout out to, I think you say your username, FT Kathleen, or maybe featuring Kathleen. Let me know because I'm not 100% sure. But I know that you watch my videos all the time and you always leave me the sweetest comments. So I had to give you a shout out. If you want to be featured in my next comment of the day, make sure you leave me a comment down below and I just might pick you. And with that being said, I hope you guys are having a fabulous week and I will catch you all in my next video. Bye.